This is the solutions to uh, linear relations EQAO practice uh, questions grade 9 applied. Uh, question number 1. In this question you're asked which of the following shows a linear relation between R and N. So notice in the tables here uh, N is the uh, independent variable and R is the dependent variable in all the tables. And so to, f to, to determine, determine if there's a linear relation, uh, check and see if the rate is the same as you go from ordered pair to ordered pair or from row to row in the table. So for example, uh, in the first one here, the change from 8 to 11 is 3. And remember, in order to, to see that change, if you're actually using your calculator, you, it's always important that you subtract the uh, the numbers in the correct order here. So for example, if I want to know the change from 8 to 11, type the 11 in first because it's from 8 to 11, so it's going up 3. If you actually subtract 8 minus 11, you get negative 3, so then that would mean it's going down, but from 8 to 3, 8 to 11, it's going up 3. So 11 minus 8 is 3, uh, 15 minus the 11 is 4. So the change here is 4. Now in order to find the uh, the rate, remember rate is rise over run. These are the rises, these are the runs. So 3 over 1 would be the rate from the first ordered pair to the second. And then from, uh, from 11 to 15 it goes up 4. So the rate here would be 4. This 4 over this one. And the rates change. So this one is not a linear relation. All the rest of them have a constant rate from ordered pair to ordered pair. So for example, in B here, from 4 to 14, it goes up 10. From 14 to 24, it goes up 10. Uh, in each case, from 0 to 5, and then 5 to 10, they're going up by 5 in each case. So this 10 divided by this 5 is a rate of 2. This 10 divided by this 5 is a rate of 2. Okay. So this is a linear relation. So that one's not. This one is. Uh, for... Uh, the C one here, from 1 to 2 it goes up, from 2 to 3 it goes up 1 e each case. And then this is going up by 3, and then from 4 to 9 it's going up by 5. Again, remember, um, if I want to know the change from 4 to 9, remember 9 minus 4 is the 5 it's going up. So the rate from the first ordered pair to the second would be 1 over 3. Uh, from this one, it would be 1 over 5, and 1 over 3 and 1 over 5 are not the same, so that's not a linear relation. For the last one in D, from 12 to 22, it goes up 10. And then from 22 to 30, it only goes up 8. Uh, 30 minus 22 would be 8. From 7 to 10, it goes up 3. 10 minus uh, 7 is 3. Uh, from 10 to 18, it goes up 8. 18 minus 10 is 8. So again, the uh, rates, 10 over 3, and this would be 8 over 8. Now, 8 divided by 8 is 1, so certainly 1 and 10 thirds are not the same thing. So different rates there, too. So, so B is the only one that has the same rates in each case, so that's the linear relation. So the correct answer for question number 1 would be B.